Hello friends, welcome to UGPG Mathematics. In this video, I am going to solve a problem from GATE exam. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Now, let us see the problem. So, the problem is about differential equation. And equation is given by x into dy by dx plus y is equal to 0. And the solution when the passing through the point 1 comma 1 is. Now, the options are we can solve this differential equation using the standard like very vari variable separable form but uh, see the options are in terms of powers of x so in general you take let the solution be y is equal to x raised to some power let us say it is m so you just put this uh, y is equal to x raised to m in the given equation so just find out dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to what is the derivative of x raised to m it is just m into x raised to m minus y now put this y and dy by dx in the above equation so we will get x into dy by dx is m into x raised to m minus 1 plus y is just x raised to m and equate it to 0 now just solve this equation to get the value of m because we want this power the value of m so now this is just x raised to m into m plus x raised to m equal to 0 now you take x raised to m common and remaining is m plus 1 equal to 0 now this x raised to m cannot cannot be 0 so this m plus 1 has to be 0 and this will get so we will get m is equal to minus 1 because m plus 1 is equal to 0 so m is equal to minus 1 and uh, now see this x raised so the solution is y is equal to x raised to minus 1 because m is minus 1 correct now this solution also satisfies when the uh, this point when x is equal to 1 we get y is equal to 1 so just put the value of x so when x is 1 1 raised to minus 1 is just 1 upon 1 which is 1 again so y is 1 so the correct answer is option c or you can use the standard method so the equation is x into dy by dx plus y is equal to 0 and now just separate the variables so we will get dy by y plus dx upon x is equal to 0 so by integrating on both sides we will get this is log to the base e y plus log to the base e of x is equal to the constant of integration log to the base e and c we can take constant with log so you just use the logarithmic rule that is when log of y uh, log of a plus b uh, log of b is just log a b so i will write this as log y x is equal to log to the base e and c now take the exponential on both the sides we will get y x is equal to c now to find out the value of c we will use this this initial condition that the solution must pass through the point 1 comma 1 so put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 in this equation so we will get so put x is equal to y is equal to 1 we get c is equal to 1 into 1 that is c is equal to 1 and now you again put c is equal to 1 in the above equation so we will get solution as x y is equal to 1 that is now we want the solution that is y so y is equal to take this x in the denominator so it is 1 by x and hence this is just equal to x inverse the solution as we have find found out in above method so by any method it is just x inverse now let us solve another question the question is uh, 
we have given a dif ordinary differential equation y double dash plus alpha times y dash plus beta y is equal to 0 where this alpha beta are constants and we have given the solution y is equal to x into e raised to x and we have to find out the value of beta minus alpha so let us solve this so we know that this y is equal to x into e raised to x is a solution so you just uh, we know that this solution should satisfy the given differential equation so just calculate y dash and y double dash and put the value of y double dash and y dash here we will get the values of alpha and beta so let us just solve it so beta into y is y of x which is x into e raised to x right hand side is 0 plus alpha times y dash is you find the derivative of this so first function into derivative of second plus second function into derivative of x is just 1 and again you find out the value of y double dash that is you take the derivative of this y dash again so we will get first function into derivative of second plus second function into derivative of first so this is the derivative and the derivative of e raised to x is again e raised to x now just solve it so this is x plus 2 plus alpha into x plus 1 plus beta x into e raised to x is equal to 0. Now we know that e raised to x is never 0 and therefore we will get x plus 2 plus alpha x plus alpha plus beta x is equal to 0. Now solve it. So this is just x into 1 plus alpha plus beta plus alpha plus 2 is equal to 0 that that means I have taken this power of x is here 1 and here these are just constants so now here power of x you can write this 0 as 0 plus x into 0 correct now comparing the like powers of x on both the sides we will get 1 plus alpha plus beta is equal to 0 and alpha plus 2 is equal to 0 so from this we will get alpha is equal to minus 2 and you put this value here so we will get 1 minus 2 plus beta is equal to 0 and hence we will get beta is equal to 1 correct and hence this value of beta minus alpha is 1 minus minus 2 that is equal to 3. Now let us solve another problem. The problem is about the solution of differential equation with the conditions are given to us, initial conditions. So the equation is d2y by dt square is equal to minus dy by dt minus 5 times y by 4. So we just write the equation in the standard form so it is d2y by dt square nine plus dy by dt plus 5y by 4 is equal to 0 now you first find out now this is second order differential equation ordinary differential equation so find out the auxiliary equation so auxiliary equation is m square plus n plus 5 by 4 is equal to 0. Now we have to find out the value of, uh, value of m that is the roots of this auxiliary equation. So let us find out. So this is just 4m square multiply by 4 throughout the equation. So 4m plus 5 is equal to 0. Correct. Now compare this equation with the a x square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Now we know that the roots of such equations are given by x is equal to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Correct. Now you just compare the values of a, b and c here and write the value of m. So the m is equal to minus b is minus 4 plus minus root b square is 16 minus 4 ac is 80 divided by 2 times a that is 2 times 
4. Correct. Now solve this. So this is just equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of minus 64 divide by 8 and which is again equal to minus 4 plus minus. Now square root of 64 is 8 because 8 square is 64 but this minus sign gives us a complex number so it is just 8 times iota where this iota is square root of minus 1. Correct. Now divide by 8. And therefore, we will get this m as minus half plus plus minus iota. Now, these are complex numbers. So, let us denote it by, let us say a plus minus b times i. So, we know that when the roots of auxiliary equation are complex numbers, then the solution is just y is equal to we write this e raised to ax first so e raised to a is just minus half ax is minus x by 2 into bracket write the constant c1 and write cos of bx here b is 1 because the coefficient of i is 1 so cos of bx is 1x that is just x plus write the second constant let us say c2 and write sin of bx so sin x because here b is just 1 hence this is our so general solution for the given equation uh, sorry the variable is t so just replace this x by t independent variable is t so this is t now we have given that y at 0 is 1 that means you just put t is equal to 0 that is when at initial the value of y is 1 initial the value of y is 1 so when t is equal to 0 y is 1 so just put the value here so y is equal to 1 lhs is 1 e raised to 0 is 0 upon 2 is 0 so e raised to 0 is just 1 so 1 c1 now cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so just multiply this by 1 so it is just c1 and sin 0 is 0 correct so simplify this we will get c1 is equal to 1 now also we have given dy by dt at t is equal to 0 is 0 but before using this you just put the value of c1 in this general solution so Again, we will uh, get the value uh, equation in terms of C1 and C2 and then we have, to, we will have to find out the value of C2 from that equation. So, instead of that, you just put the value of C1 here only. So, we will get y is equal to e raised to minus t by 2 into C1 is 1. This is just cos t plus C2 sin t. Now, to find out the value of C2, you just use that dy by dt at t equal to 0 is 0. So now just find out the derivative of this y. So y dash or dy by dt is equal to e raised to the first function into derivative of second cos the derivative of cos is minus sin sin t plus c2 is just a constant derivative of sin t is cos t plus I am using the product rule first function into derivative of second function plus you write the second function so this is cos t plus c2 sin t and the derivative of first is e raised to minus t by 2 as it is and the derivative of minus t by 2 that is minus half correct by chain rule the derivative of e raised to minus t by 2 is e raised to minus t by 2 into minus half now you just use that y dash at t equal to 0 is 0 so we will get so this y dash is 0 at t equal to 0 so lhs is 0 now put t equal to 0 in the rhs so e raised to 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so c2 into 1 is c2 plus this cos 0 is again 1 sin 0 is 0 c2 into 0 is 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 and this minus half is here correct now this just solve this so we will get this c2 
plus minus half is equal to 0 and hence we will get C2 is equal to half. Correct. And now just put the value in this y is equal to e raised to minus 3 by 2 into c1 is we know that c1 is 1 so this is just cos t plus c2 is half into sin t now we have asked the solution or the position of particle at t is equal to pi correct so you just put t is equal to pi in this solution so we will get y at t is equal to pi so at t is equal to pi we get y is equal to e raised to minus pi by 2 into cos pi is minus 1 plus sin pi is 0 so half into 0 is 0 and this is just minus e raised to minus pi by 2 this is the answer. Thank you.